So I've been hearing a lot of people asking me to make a tutorial on how I make these gimmick files or how I do it or how is the process of what I do in order to make this. So okay I decided to make a little tutorial on how to make them at my personal experience on how I use it and the mod table that I use it specifically. So welcome to my Lua tutorial. <laughs> One thing I want to clarify is that this tutorial will only work on Stepmania 5. If you want to make these on 3.95, maybe you can ask the other people who make some 3.95 files like Taro or Windu or maybe Pat if he really makes a real tutorial. But this one will only focus on Stepmania 5. Now, before we begin, I will recommend you to download the sample file that I left in the description in order to begin because I'll explain a little basic of how this thing works. And here we are. This is the Lua file in which everything goes in. You may see that I added instructions of what does what, but now, right now we're gonna start with the basics. You see this little thing, right? This is where you can put all of the mods. Basically, all of the mods that you can see in the options menu when you select a song are available to be used here. Now, right there you can see that it uses beat and then mods. This mo mod table uses the beat timing, which means that it's not using seconds but in rather this little meter right here, which also just takes these things, 4s by 4s, 8s by 8s, and then so on. It, for me, I kinda like this better because yeah that's why and so let's begin by adding some simple mods let's say that I want to apply drunk on here and then like apply bumpy on this then I first get the beat that is on here and then I put it here add a coma and then add this little thing and then add um, let's do it instantly so I apply aesthetics and then 99 and then drunk end it with a coma and then on the other one, let's press enter and we'll grab it, we'll grab it on the other nine. And then press it again and then put the next beat and then apply bumpy and do it again. And that's basically how it goes. Now you can just play it, but oh wait, it's not showing. So what happens? Well, you have to apply and save the Lua file as default.lua in a folder inside of the song. So what do you do? You save it in the folder. You can call it whatever you want. You can put and you put it to the song folder in which you have your song. And then you have to add the little foreground changes that I have also in the description. So you can add it to your SM or .ssc file. Doesn't really matter which. And then reload Step Mania and then play the song. For those who are using 3D note skins, it should do a little change on the notes. For example, in the video that I did, Amazing Princess Wings, I had a little in the right note at the start to check if the thing worked correctly or it started. When it starts, the note kind of skips a little wide in resolution, signing in the start of the mods. That's a really good indication to say that it actually is working. So that's a little part one, show you how basic it is to just start with the mods. Next part will discuss on how to add the, the uh, next part will show how to add the chord messages which are mostly important because that's one of the unique things that the Lua can handle. 